Hi, my name is Admin Frank, and today I would like to perform a review over the ThinkPad X40. The X40 features a Pentium M processor at a clock rate of 1.4 GHz and was designed for Windows XP Professional. The X40 was designed by IBM in 2002 and was sold by IBM until 2004. Afterwards, it was sold to 2006 by Lenovo. As for connectivity, the X40 features a 16 volt DC port, a VGA connector, a 2.0 USB port above a powered USB port, a cooling fan, and a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna. It also features a PCM CIA slot which is card bus compatible, a microphone port, and a headset port. The SD card slot is located above the infrared window which is seen here in action. A high-speed USB 2.0 port is also available. A gigabit LAN connector and a 5.6K modem is also available. And on the right side, which is barely visible, a Kensington lock connector and a high power battery. The X40 features a mono speaker, an integrated peripherals of a mini PCI card, a communications card and external RAM, a dock connector which is located underneath the flaps and a high power battery with the extension and the ejection ports. The 7 row keyboard with integrated browsing keys and track point make this laptop to a mobile workstation. The planned base operating system should have been Windows 2000, but due to the popularity of Windows XP, Windows XP Home or Professional Edition was pre-installed. The highest supported operating system is Windows 10. The X40 was not designed for MS-DOS based operating systems. In order to upgrade your OS beyond Windows 7, you will need a RAM upgrade. The Pentium M processor was for that time advanced and it is still acceptable in 2015. The memory is also good. The major problem with this computer is that its graphics card only has 64 megabytes graphic memory and can't support Steam games which run on Valve's engine. However, games like Half-Life 1 and Minecraft run smoothly. Hard disk sizes are available in 10, 20, 40 and 60 GB. Due to their size being 1.8 inch in diameter, they are hard to find compared with the standard 2.5 inch hard disk. An alternate is the CF to HDD adapter which makes the compact flash bootable. With the X40, you are always connected, with a large variety of connection options. The X40's PCMCIA slot accepts PCMCIA cards 1 and 2. However, that is not all. The X40 has a card bus chipset, which enables you to use card bus cards when you use a knife to cut off the top left notch. Card bus cards have a golden top. Now I'm going to show you the most important accessories for the ThinkPad X40 which should consider vital for the operation. Let's start with the IDE to USB 2.0 adapter. You can connect CD-ROM drives and hard disks to the USB for booting. Now to the most important accessory, a 1GB RAM extension for the use of higher operating system. This is a high capacity SD card. You can save programs and other data to it on your X40. The hard disk replacement I showed earlier ago. This is a dual compact flash to ID adapter. Works perfect on the X40. Microsoft Office XP standard. Make the most of your X40. Even the picture on the books looks right. You can add Outlook and all other programs. 